Okay, so I got my 12 volt power source here. Uh, let's try these bulbs. Uh, I know it's a little bit dark, but I decided to turn off some of the lights just so I can kind of maybe get an idea of the brightness, but then I can turn it back on to have an idea of the brightness, right? So anyway, uh, these ones have the bulb right there, and uh, I think there's a few at the top around there. Oh, anyway, let's hook it up, take a look. So these will be my marker and signal lights. Well, they seem relatively bright. Okay, there we go. On the side. Okay, and right here I have one of the. Well, right up there I have uh, one of those uh, work lamps. So let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's shine some light and see. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's it shining right under the light. Uh, I can see it. I don't know if the camera can see it or not. There we go. I kind of like it. One, they kind of look pretty good too, so I may keep them. But that's those. Uh, the tip is metallic and a plastic base. Nice. Now I'm going to take a look at the um, halos or LED rings or whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah, these are switched back because um, you can use them to accent your turn signals. They go white, and when you connect them to uh, your turn signals, they'll flash amber and then go back to white. There's a very good chance I will not be doing that. But let's see if I can uh, show it. Anyway, there's that. And Holy cow. Wow, those are, uh, <laughs> those are bright. Look at that. Wow. Wasn't expecting to be that bright. That's, uh, wow, that's crazy bright. So that's, uh, same thing. I'll put my uh, flood lamp on and see how that works. So yeah, flood lamp, uh, yeah, didn't do anything to that. I mean, that's gonna be really bright in the daylight. And maybe so you can have a better understanding. So, I said before, here's my shroud, like I said. Oh, now we can maybe see the, uh, anyway. Secure that in the back. Try and do this quick and it's temporary, obviously. But let's see, and what's the effect you get? Well, that's the effect that we're going to get when my daylights are on. The headlight itself will be off. Nope, that's me. So, the headlight itself will be off, or the projector, but this will be going around it. So, uh, let's see. Put the projector in real quick and just kind of have a... See, it's not 100% there because, I mean, I'm not... Nothing glued in or whatever, but... There we go. So that's what it would look like with my daylights on. I think that's pretty cool. I think I may do that. Like I said, this will be black. So, um, yeah. So now I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to set it up a little bit better. I'm going to set this up, put a bulb in here, set up the uh, harness, and uh, show you the cutoff of this and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. So here's a projector with the shroud. <laughs> Uh, I do have the uh, LED halo in there, so I'm going to hook that up, show you what it looks like. Okay, I can tell it's glowing. Well, there we go. Not, well, obviously I'm big on the flashy stuff because I like HIDs, but uh, yeah, that's not bad. Because I don't like the full ring, but that's just enough. So uh, I'm going to try to turn the camera that way, and uh, we're going to hook up the... Uh, actual projector. I mean, it's already done. I'll just hook it up with some power, show you the cutoff, and, um, yeah. Can't wait for this. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see if I can do this now. Alright, so are we ready? Uh, that 
That uh, looks nice to me. Sharp, crisp lines. Look at that. That's why you buy quality. There we go. It's crooked. Then we can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the um, high beam solenoid. So this is low beam, regular driving, and then high beam. Yes, you use the cut. You lose the cutoff, but that's okay. It doesn't look as good in, indoors, but trust me, when it's uh, you can see fire once those go up. Look at that cutoff. Wow. <laughs> so there we have it. That's going to be uh, one project in the spring I'll be doing on the Ridgeline. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. And uh, can't wait to do the install. See you guys later.